Hi, it's Karen with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul from the flea market. Yay! Um, got some, some pretty interesting stuff. Some, a few good buys and a few, as always, that I'm, I'm thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> but anyway, um, as usual, make sure this is recording. Okay. As usual, I'm going to start with the jewelry. I got this wonderful, big old, thick, chunky collar necklace. Uh, no name on it, and that was four dollars. It needs a little cleaning, but otherwise, it's good. And then we have oops, this which has got three chains and green stones, and I just thought it was kind of pretty. I like the green stones, and it was only $4 also. And again, it's got, I love it when jewelry comes and it has hair on it, Ugh. but that will clean up nicely. And this was also $4, pretty little cameo brooch. It needs, it's got some I don't know if you can see this, that's like some red staining on it. Hopefully that will come out. But, um, I don't know, I thought that was awful pretty. I love cameos. And then, I got these cute earrings. These were only two dollars. They're post earrings for pierced ears. And I just like the look of those. thought they were fun. I got this, which is hand painted Victorian. It's got the C clasp. Definitely an old one. It's in really nice condition. Uh oh, there's a kitty. She's a little mad at me. I took her to the groomers and she does not look good. She doesn't look good. They chopped out too much of her rough. They don't listen to me. I tell them, don't cut this part right here. And they do it anyway. <sighs> okay, so this is this is a sterling silver brooch. I think it's um uh oh, I've forgotten what the who the maker is. Anyway, it's it's a known maker from like the mid-century era. And that was ten dollars. got a little silver dome ring with engraving on it. It's like, you know, it'll almost fit on my ring finger, so it's not super tiny. It's very cute. And that was five dollars. And this, this is also sterling silver, and I, I've forgotten what I paid for this. It may have been seven or eight dollars. But anyway, it's malachite in the middle. Got this nice chunky sterling silver piece with the gemstones. It's got the citrine, the amethyst, and the peridot. And I think is that Mexican? I'm not sure. I have my contacts in, so I can't read any of the markings on it. No, I don't think it's Mexican. It's just Mark 925. But it's a nice, big, heavy piece. And that was ten dollars. Got this cinnabar plaque with a horsey on it. I think I don't know. It might be Chinese uh, zodiac. It's definitely got some Chinese writing on the back, and it's got um, a little hole drilled through here so you can put a, a ring in there and make it a pendant. And this is. You see how dark the color is, how it's kind of brownish, which indicates it's an old piece. I don't know how old. I don't know how you judge exact age, but I would say pre-mid-century. Anyway, that was $10. And we got a rose quartz pendant. 
nice big one. Very simple design to it. And that was 10, I think. Got this cool underwater scene. Brooch has got the coral, it's got the fish and the seahorse. And two seahorses, I guess, and an angelfish. It's got multicolored metal. And this, I think, is Mexican. Yeah, I believe that's Mexican silver. Big, heavy piece. That was ten dollars. Got this cute little malachite pendant with a chain. I didn't check to see if the chain was silver, but it, it's really fine. I think it probably is. It's got a knot in it too to fix that. But um, that was five dollars. I got. This is definitely one of my favorite pieces that I found all day. Look at this. It's a little cloud and it's got these little diamond dangle raindrops coming out of it. I don't know what kind of stones those are. They're probably uh, they're they're probably some kind of crystal. Quartz crystal or something, I don't know. But I thought that was so cute. And that was ten dollars. And this funky. I love this. It's got the amethyst crystal and it's got citrine and it's got, what is that? Quartz, I guess. I don't know. And I don't know what that green one is. I'll have to do a little more research on it, but what a fun, chunky end up that is. And that was, I think I may have paid a little more for that. That might have been 12 or 15, I forget at this point. We have a little turquoise nugget ring, and I believe it's a Native American Navajo, and I believe I only paid five for that. And then this is another Navajo turquoise ring. This one's got a chip in it, and I think I may have paid ten for that one. It's been a few days, so I've kind of forgotten. That's just a little chip. And then this, in my excitement, finding this, this guy was selling me all this $5 and $10 silver, I got very excited. And he only quoted a price of $5 for this needlepoint turquoise bracelet. And I thought, yes, yes, well, it's because it's not silver. <laughs> I didn't look close enough. It's like, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's silver. But, you know, it is pretty, and it is, I'm pretty sure it's real turquoise. So, anyway, that was $5. And, okay, I know I've been kind of rushing through this, but um, that is all the jewelry. And let's move along to this cute little, the silver box with like an art glass stone in the lid. It's got a hinged lid. It came with some fortune cookie fortunes in it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if this is real silver or not. It might be maybe 800 silver. It might be not silver at all. I need to test it, but it looks kind of, I don't know. It looks old, and I just really like it. And it was $5. Uh, this is just a little silver trinket box shape, like a heart, the velvet inside. This is probably a, a 1960s. These were very popular then, and it was $3. Make, yeah, it has a maker mark on the bottom. I can't read it. Okay. Um, okay, this was an interesting find. This is up on it. I just noticed that. This is a, a level so that you can do a perfect 45 degree angle. Can you see the bubble? I love little engineering tools. Little construction things. I guess because my dad was an engineer and he had tons and tons of stuff like this in his workshop and he used to every once in a while give me something like this as a, as a toy. So I really love stuff like this. It is from the W.N. Matthews Corporation of St. Louis, USA. <laughs> so there you have it. That was five dollars. I have no idea if it's worth anything at all or not. 
this is a um, Kelvin Chin hand painted porcelain stamp box. It's really cute. It's got come on, open up. It's not that hard. It's got this place for a roll of stamps and the slot you can pull them out. And I'm not sure what goes in the rest of this. Wouldn't it wouldn't fit a pen, but um, I, I somehow this is like a third piece of this uh, the same artist that I bought, and I somehow get it in my head that he's like they're super valuable and super collectible, so I paid ten dollars for it. They're not. It's the second time I've done this. I mean, they're collectible but not expensive, and they're really. I mean, it's so cute. Look at the little butterflies on it and everything. It's kind of like a Limoges box, I guess. So I paid too much for it, but there it is. Uh, and then I found all these little sweet bat, sweet grass baskets. They're just lovely. I think these are nice. Oh God, they smell so good. They're nice old ones. And I, I bought four of them for $30. So that was one. That's the littlest one. I have a little bit bigger one. They're all in really, really nice condition. That one's got little piercings on the lid. Not piercings, it's, it's woven that way. Anyway, it's got a pretty pattern. And the fourth one, I think this is my favorite, because it's triangle shaped. You don't see that very often. But I don't, these seem to sell for me pretty well. I've sold a lot of little sweetgrass baskets over the years. Uh, this, I absolutely love. It's like an end of day um, Murano glass paperweight. Super good shape. No, no stickers or marks on it, but I'm pretty sure it's Murano because it's got that mirror finish on the bottom. And it's really, really nice. It was only $10, so that was a deal. And, okay, I have one more piece. Try not to buy big things. It's not that big, but, oh, look at this. Is this not wonderful? That is a mirror. It's just so filthy, you can't tell. The whole thing is filthy. But it's got these hand-painted birds. Oh, it, as you can see, by looking at the back, it's pretty old. Um, oh, it has a wire hanger. I just now noticed that. Um, but yeah, I saw this. Had to have it. It was originally priced at $89. And I paid $40 for it because the guy really didn't want to take it home. So, I don't know what I'm going to sell it for. I did a little research on it. I think it may have been made in Peru, but I'm really not sure. And, yeah, I'm going to put a high price on it, and I'm going to hang it up, and I'm going to enjoy it for a while. So, oh, don't you want to be on the video, Muffin? Here's my little Muffin. She's, she's so embarrassed because she got her, got her rough cut off today. She'll never be pretty again. That's how she feels. Yeah. She doesn't, not really. Anyway, uh, that does it for the flea market. Thanks so much for watching. These items are or soon will be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. Please come visit me and browse my goods. I have seven to 800 items listed there. And um, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Give me a thumbs up if you care to. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again soon. Bye.